we have this camera, we have that camera. Do I say hi? Like, oh, you can't. Uh, I usually just go right into it. Like, there's no, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Hey, how's it going? I haven't seen this guy in like. Oh, I know, cool! I can see myself. Part, I haven't seen you in like a while. Yeah, it's been. A, I don't think I've. I've probably in passing since I came back. I moved back from Atlanta almost two years ago. It was, was it March. Really? March 2017. So we're making bun sale, which is like a savory crepe. This it's funny, this bag is you can get this at an Asian market and it comes the powders like this, it comes pre made. And mm -hmm. it's just pizza flour? Yeah, that's the funny thing. It's, oh, Vietnamese it's pizza called flour. Vietnamese pizza flour, but it's more like a crepe, it's not pizza, which is because it's translations. This is like, uh, like the translations on the back of this is take the powder, mingle with two liters of coconut juice. Like it's, <laughs> instead of mixing, it says mingle with. <laughs> you can't find this coconut juice. I don't know where you get this stuff. <laughs> it's like, uh, like that gochugaru that I got over there. It's like, yeah, it's, it's almost like when you get this translated stuff and like yeah. electronics, like do not shoot cat in the eye. You're like what? <laughs> yeah. So. Um, this is just rice flour, wheat flour, and then turmeric on the side for the color. Um, where should I look? Do I look this there? One or wherever, talk doesn't matter. I mean, unless you want to okay. see them with a camera, just like wave there, or, like wave there. Hi, hi. <laughs> um, so, on sale. Um, so first, we're just gonna put the dry ingredients into a big mixing bowl. This rest, it's two comes in a bag, so I'm just gonna do one. It makes about. 10 crepes, and a serving is usually about two crepes per person. Is it like a big thing that you make, or does it's, it need to be like... It comes in, so like I make it in this big pan right here, so it's pretty big. Mm -hmm. um, probably a 10 inch diameter that you fold in half. Okay. Um, like, looks like a calzone, I guess. If I, was, I was thinking, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like no, if we're on the pizza like analogy. Calzone. Like, it's just too, that's too big. <laughs> It is okay. funny how calzones are just like, uh, hey, take a pizza and then fold it in half. Hey, yeah. Calzone. So that's kind of what, the, like, I mean, go, like, it's not a, I'm not, I don't want to say this is like a pizza because it's like a crepe, but you really, you can put whatever you want in it. Typically, mm -hmm. you would put pork and shrimp in it. Um, I put cabbage in mine. A lot of people put uh, bean sprouts, but I hate, absolutely hate bean sprouts. Really? So I brought cabbage instead. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. a little bit of a crunch to it. Mm -hmm. Just to give it another uh, texture. So just open the bag, put it all in here, and get flour everywhere. <laughs> Good thing the trash All over your Drew Brees jersey. Yeah, all over my jersey that I'm wearing all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to wash it in between? Like, no, I'm not. Like, I'm wearing no. it all weekend. It's like one of those lucky so my... jerseys. Don't, uh, don't, uh, <laughs> don't wash off the juju. Don't wash it, yeah. Yeah. Um, so What's the seltzer my... water for? So, okay, so the seltzer water, instead of using... it, So this... The recipe on the back says put two liters of coconut juice in it. Don't don't listen to it. I use <laughs> my mom says put in coconut cream and seltzer water. So every like everyone says a trick to this is putting seltzer water because the bubbles give it a little bit more crisp uh, mm -hmm. and then it gives it a good crunch to it. That's interesting. So don't listen to the listen to my recipe. <laughs> just gotta like yeah okay. You just gotta know someone who makes it and yeah. then they tell you what to put in it. What do you um, mean? Measuring cup. You so over there is uh see where that soy sauce bottle is? Yes. There should be a measuring cup right there. Oh, perfect. By the way, it's 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 really funny that you brought all these like, oh I bought a mixing bowl and a <laughs> pot. Oh I brought <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't bring like a spatula. I also Although brought, this thing No, I did bring my ladle. This thing is funky. Oh that's really yeah, like, it's a great whisk. So I brought my ladle because I measured how to pour yeah, to this that pot. I can see, like, like especially like if it's a specific pot, you know how to yeah. make it and stuff. So this recipe, it takes a few times doing it to get a hang of it. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing this since I was in high school. <laughs> you I'm, got I, it right this at is all? One, <laughs> <laughs> almost. almost. I've never made the batter. My mom's always made the batter, and then I would make the crepe. Mm -hmm. um, she would just leave the batter in the fridge, and it'll stay good for like four or five days. So it's one of my favorite dishes, and she makes it almost every time I come home to New Orleans. So I'm gonna add about, I'm gonna do two and a half cups and see what the batter looks like. Mm -hmm. And then add a little bit more if I need it. So we're trying to get like a kind of runny crepe batter. So here's two, and another half. It's funny because crepes are kind of like pancakes, but like the first one's always, it's always crap. 
It yeah, never comes the first out good. Like, right, the first is a throw The first in. one is almost always it's a throw dog, in. Or it's yeah. A, it's the hockey puck out the window. <laughs> and then coconut cream. So this gives it um, an aroma. I feel mm-hmm. have it's this. coconut cream or coconut milk? Coconut cream. Okay. So it's in the can. It's very thick, yeah. And it's very thick. If you can smell it, it's like super coconutty. Yeah, so it gives it a good aroma a and a little bit more texture, like the softer texture. Mm-hmm. This is the soda water is going to give it crispy texture. This is going to give it a little bit of a softer. And this was in the fridge, so it's kind of <laughs> it's so, solidified coconut cream. If so you put it in the fridge, so the spoons are over there, bottom right, just reach in that white container there. Bottom? Oh, in yeah. this. Okay. That's that's one, that's part of the. I need to get my cabinets <laughs> fixed. You're like, oh no, it's right there. So hmm, this is. I'm just going to try to get this to room temp. <laughs> Yeah, we use that stuff when we're making like. Uh, it's really good in coffee. Like drinks too. and stuff, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a really it, it has a lot of flavor to it, um, so you don't want to put too much because it does have a little flavor, and you don't want that coconut forward yeah. type of flavor in your crepe because it, it is a savory like, dish. So I'm gonna put about mm, two heaping spoonsfuls. It looks like stucco. <laughs> like drywall <laughs> putty. <laughs> um, so you want to whisk this together. I didn't put the turmeric in yet. I'm gonna put this in last. Um, I don't really know why. I'm just, just kidding. There's probably some, some, reason <laughs> some reasoning for it. For it. Um, that's what I've seen my mom do, so that's what I'm doing. It's, it's funny because my grandmother used to make mojo, and she would show people how to do it, and just no one could ever make it. My sister's yeah. the only one that's come close to it at like 95%. But I don't know what it was. It was just something it's intrinsic like, about like, all right, just use this piece of garlic. I don't know. It was just, I've never figured it out. Nobody's ever figured it out. What's mojo? It's, uh, it's like the Spanish uh, stuff usually put on pork. It's like lime juice, garlic. Oh, uh, it's like a sauce type yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got it. I it's think delicious. I know what you're talking about. And I've wanted to have my sister do it, but at the same time, I don't want to give the secret away. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, like, you go to a restaurant, like, wait, I know this recipe. Like, this is ours. <laughs> so this batter is like a little thick. It's kind of hard to like whisk through still. So I'll put a little bit more in here. Of the water or the... A little bit more seltzer water. So the coconut cream is going to make it a little thick. And mm. then you have a lot of flour in here too. So, so I'm putting like another half. So I put started with two and a half. So I'm putting another half. So it might be three. I think that's what I was saying the other day. Check the tape. <laughs> Roll it back. <laughs> okay. Let's see. And you can like... In any cooking, you can start with less and keep adding. You don't want to... It's so much you end up with like a big bowl like, I don't of know, water. Stuff. Like, yeah, this is a texture we want. So like it's kind of like it's really runny. It's almost watery. So I'm going to like, yeah, that's the texture you want. And then I'm going to add in turmeric. It's So you say turmeric. It's funny when you hear somebody say turmeric. Turmeric? Yeah, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's not how you say it. Like, no, it's turmeric. Who says that? (laughs) Like, yeah, Yeah. it's turmeric. Okay, we'll just have to agree to disagree. It's not an A, it's definitely an E there. Yeah. (laughs) So, I have, they come in this package already, but I just brought it just, I don't know if we wanted to put more in it. Like, we look at the color and you see if you want more or not. Really cool. Let's grab this to cut this open. These bags do not come like. It's childproof because it will make, <laughs> it's going to make a mess. This gives a lot of color. So instead of using food color, you, you can use turmeric in a lot of things. Turmeric is supposed to be healthy for you too. Yeah. And it does, I don't think it has like a really strong flavor to it. Yeah. Does it, it can. It can. It, you were adding never, to like your I eggs or something. I never taste it. Like I used to sprinkle some of my eggs in the morning. Like it gives it enough it, flavor to change it up. And it gives it good color. I mean, probably get really yellow mm-hmm. eggs out of it. Like, oh, these are uh, farm eggs. <laughs> but really, it's just super <laughs> egg. <laughs> That's like when you get the, the quote unquote organic eggs and stuff when they're brown. It's like, oh, it's because they're organic. It's like, no, it's a different type of chicken. Yeah. It's like, oh, I didn't know that. That's like this Publix here now has uh, has duck eggs and quail oh, eggs. Oh, really? Yeah. It's just really weird. Like, what do you do? Duck with- eggs are really orangey. Yeah. And their yolk is a lot bigger, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a much longer, obviously, obviously it depends on the duck species, but it's a much longer, like, egg. It's really weird. The quail eggs, I don't, I've, I've never cooked quail eggs. I'm trying to think of what 
dish you would use them for. It has to be something you cook it in the shell. Cause it's yeah, tiny, it's and like, then it's like it'd probably be like take forever to um, peel it. So there's a Vietnamese soup, soup mong cool, that you put quail eggs in, and it's like tradition for like weddings. Uh -huh. So it's always served at a wedding. So you like crack it in there kind of thing? or? Mm -mm. They cook it um, and peel it, so they boil it. So oh. it's boiled quail eggs, and there's just a lot in there. I remember oh, as a kid, many? I always picked out the quail eggs because it has a really good yolk. How many yolk. quail eggs would you need? Like <laughs> oh, they also sell it. So my boyfriend makes fun of me because I, I put this in my soup sometime and it comes in a can. It's already boiled and peeled and it's kind of like gross sounding, but I mean, I grew up eating it and I'm, yeah. I, I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> but it comes in like a can. Google it. Like it's, oh, can we bring out a Google? <laughs> That's like the, uh, what are those sardines in Spain where like they're better from the can? I forget, they're like a, I can't like, remember the name of it. Um, like it's like a soap? specialty. Like you eat it from the can. Like that's it was how you oil eat it. and everything in yeah. it. Yeah. And then you put it on, like spread it onto bread. No, you just like, like oh. raw. Well, not raw, but well, I think they are raw. Lucas about that. Good question. Okay, well. so here we are. Um, I'm smelling it and I feel like I want a little bit more cocoa. This, so this is. This is how <laughs> this it's better. This is, feel part, this right is the feel part. So it's, and it also is going to add a little bit more texture to that. So, yeah. Just that's like, uh, yeah, that's the feel part. That's like when we're doing like yeah. our Christmas pig and stuff. My mom said half a cup, and then I did that on the other day, and it was like way too much. <laughs> She's so. like, oh no, no, I meant quarter cup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's do. Let's Wait, just, isn't okay. this a half a cup? <laughs> so no, let's mom, say this batter's like... recipe is three. <laughs> Three cups of soda water with a quarter cup of coconut milk. Coconut cream, sorry. All right, let me put this in the sink. Alexa. Oh, Alexa's uh, trying to jam. I decided to start. All right. <laughs> did, did, did She's like, say, I don't like, like what y'all are talking about. Did Let's you say play jam. music or something? I didn't. <laughs> no. She, ran like she didn't want anyone to know the real recipe. Seriously. <laughs> I okay. asked her something the other day in the video that I put up today. I was like, uh... Like, what's chicken fat called? He goes, chicken fat, chicken fat, chicken fat, chicken fat is called chicken fat, chicken fat, chicken fat. And I was like, what? <laughs> okay. that, it's like called like Schlitz or something. And I'm trying to find out the name. Yeah, and she just freaked the F out. <laughs> it's creepy. That whole thing is creepy. Do you have one of those? Or I don't. Do home or I use Siri um, to like set my alarms and all that stuff. I like mm. to say, hey, Siri. But um, what, is, what does Siri say when you tell her like, hey, set a reminder for whatever? I don't. Oh, if I have my phone around. My Siri actually is British dude. Okay. It's an Australian. Oi. Hey Siri. Set timer for ten minutes. Your timer is set for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Siri. So I'm gonna leave this over here, let that sit for ten minutes, just let it like kind of mingle mm, in there. Mingle. Mingle together. Let the, the turmeric <laughs> mingle with the coconut oil water. <laughs> Cooking a juice. <laughs> so we're done with that. So then I'm gonna prep what's going in the crepe. So we have um, pork shoulder. I think no, this is pork butt. So any really, you can use any kind of pork. How mm -hmm. fatty you want it, or how lean you want. It. You can all go up to like um, pork belly in it. It's really good. Mm. The fattier, the better. I think this is a pretty fatty meat. And then we have some Argentina shrimp that I already peeled, and I'm gonna slice in half. Can I use this cutting board? Yeah, unless you have a preference for a white cutting board. It's no. plastic. It's. Do you want to use plastic or wood? or? Ah, that'll be fine. I'll wash it anyways. Let's put plastic on top, and then I'm going to cut my scallions oh. with yes, yeah, the wood. Run, run, run in the frame. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a good size. Yeah. I like These that. are nice. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> But it's kind of understood. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna slice these in half because they're going into like a pancake crepe type thing. So you kind of want it like to fit. Um, do you take that vein part out of your shrimp when you? I've seen people do it. Some people Most don't. Most people like, do the whole I'm like so, vein like, thing. I'm too lazy to. I feel like. That's another reason that I don't eat shrimp. Everyone's like, like, you didn't devein the shrimp or something. I'm like, oh, oh I'm no. like a really lazy cook. Like everything is whatever is the easiest and quickest well, way to get it. Well, it's not Isn't that like their poo patch? Mm. I think that's their poo patch. Okay, I'll take it out. I'm just, I don't know. I, don't know. I honestly don't know. That's what people say, but I don't, I don't know. I never, uh, I never cook shrimp. I'm not much of a seafood guy. Really? 
like i'll eat fish like you know how you do like fish and just cover it in salt whatever and just roast that i'll do that but i Uh I typically don't because i'm very much like oh i'm gonna make this and i'll buy it and it'll sit in the fridge and then it'll go oh bad. like yeah it'll go bad real fast <laughs> like, oh, i want to have steak then i go home like oh, i don't want to cook it and then, just, and then it'll i sit got there this on I'll... wednesday and i put it in the freezer and then i just took it out this morning and then just let it sit in water mm-hmm. shrimp is so it defrosts really fast so you just put it in water for like 30 minutes and then you start peeling it and then by the time you finish peeling it it's all ready to go ready to go um these are really sweet shrimp, too. These are um, Argentina. You see how pink it is? Yeah. These are Publix. I know Rishi loves his Whole Foods. <laughs> I didn't go to Whole Foods. I'm a Publix girl. Like, yeah. Um, well, Whole Foods is, it's weird to me because you go in and you're like, I'm looking for just like flour. It's like, and you go to the flour aisle and it's like organic, gluten flour. Oh, you have 10 flour. Like, million what? different options. Yeah. There's free range flour. There's <laughs> closed range flour. There's what is free, what is free flour. range flour? Know. Like the animals <laughs> don't even they just, need to mix. They just go out there like, we found this wheat free or wheat, uh, plant out in the middle of the woods. <laughs> and we let it just freely make its flour. <laughs> it's so yeah. ridiculous on that stuff. Like, it's, I see on his social media, he's there, like, every day. Is he there every day? He's there pretty <laughs> often. It's funny. Rishi, I love you. <laughs> I'm not talking shit, promise. <laughs> if I had the time, I would. All right. So how much shrimp is that, like a pound? Oh, yeah, I didn't even talk about how much we need. So this is a pound. Um, you really need about probably just, ten, like, if we're making eight to ten crepes, you're going to have extra shrimp. Mm-hmm. probably um you only need about an ounce of shrimp and an ounce of meat per crepe a few slices just to give enough in each bite um have you ever had this when i said i was making this you you said you I'm knew what it was pretty sure i have i'm pretty sure i have i had uh, the uh, what's that one restaurant on waters i think it, it, the Vietnamese Fuck place. uh is it maybe it's been years since i've been there but it's yeah, I think I had this when I was there. It's so good. But I do remember all the bean sprouts, which yeah. I remember a lot of the bean I'm sprouts. I'm not a the whole... fan. And it's like the whole thing is just filled with bean sprouts. And I never order in a restaurant. I think I ordered it once when I was in Vietnam just because I was in Vietnam. And it's one of my favorite dishes. But um, I'm not a fan of it in restaurants. Let's, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where, it, I guess, just when you make it at home, it's just so much better. It's, yeah. And you can customize it to what you want in it. The thing, too, is like... I don't know about you, but people go, oh, do you go out to Cuban restaurants? Like, what's it? I'm like, no, because no. I just cook that food at home. Yeah. Like, why and, would I go out to a restaurant? And, and everyone's be the last. always asking yeah. me, what's a good Vietnamese restaurant here? And I'm just like, mm, uh, my house. My house. <laughs> you want to come over for some pho? Like, I can make some. <laughs> I was. Uh, Is that the last time we I cooked for you? Was uh, were you there when it was Tim, Rishi, Mike, Jill? Like, we had a whole yeah. crew making pho. So when did you see that I had a step stool in my kitchen? It was, oh, when was it? Oh, so I'm just cutting up some pork, probably about the same amount, like a pound, maybe 10 ounces. And I'm going to cut it really thin because we're going to saute, the, like put the shrimp and the pork and then onion, if you want do onions. You, and then. Do you want a, a real knife? You can use that knife. Oh, yeah. That. <laughs> how do you take this? You look like you're struggling with that. Yeah. How do you, how do you open that? <laughs> That's a beautiful knife. It really is. It and I'm cuts so it's it's wow. It's like a freaking samurai sword. Like you'll see Scott when you cut got this it. For yeah, you? I gotta ask him what you like. Watch this. Yeah. Like I'll cut. Like, ve- I don't even. Oh wow! It's just like one. Swoop. I put no pressure on that knife when I'm cutting vegetables. When did you get this? Uh, maybe two months ago. So it still has like really. Sh- yeah. like you haven't um sharpened it yet. No, yeah, I'm definitely. Where did he get it from? I'm not sure. Because um, I got mine from Williams Sonoma, and they do free sharpening. Oh, really? So you just bring it in. I mean, um, they'll hold it for a couple of days because mm-hmm. they send it off, I think, to get it sharpened by somebody. I don't know. Yeah, I bought my sharpening stones and stuff. I'm deathly afraid of the day <laughs> I have to. I have another knife that I need to sharpen, so I'll have to practice on that. Because it's such one of those things, like, you get it, but on a shitty knife, you're like, oh, it's, hard. it's good enough. But yeah. on a good knife, like, oh, oh I just... And, you, and when you're sharpening, blade. you're actually taking away from the blade. Exactly. So you don't want to, like, cause divots yeah, and with, like, a little uh, uh, fillet knife, like, no, what did I do? Yeah. 
It's cr- the like, fillet knife is really thin, so like you. Yeah, it's like or like the uh, like the fish ones, you know, the the deboning knife. That's what I'm talking about. Where it's like oh, long I can just and thin. See my mom like, what are you doing? Why are you cutting it so slow? <laughs> like I have that's... a cleaver too. Every every time I use my cleaver, I always think of like the old like uh, what was his name? The old cookie show with the the. the is he Japanese? Oh, he's like cutting all this. I'm cutting the onions in the middle of the air. Morimoto? Is that? I don't, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what his name is. Every, I always think about that show and I never remember the name of it. Yeah, like growing up cooking. Like my mom has always been in the kitchen. She's like the cook of the house. Like she mm-hmm. always has like three meals in the fridge at all times. Like whatever <laughs> you're craving. Um, like my brother, my, my dad, and my uh, I had different tastes. So she would always have like different things mm-hmm. for like catering to each of us. And so she was always in the kitchen, but whenever I wanted to help, she's like, oh, do this. And then I would start doing it. She's like, no, that's, do, do it, it like this. You can let me do it. I'm like, well, <laughs> what am well, I I'm doing I'm not gonna here? learn if you don't teach <laughs> yeah. me how. Yeah, that's funny. Growing up, it was your mom, like were you in the kitchen with your mom? Uh, it was mostly my grandmother who was the cook. Like it was one of those, she could have never cooked it ever in her life. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, I want lobster bisque. And she would, okay, and just figure just, it out. It was like the most delicious thing you've ever had in your life. That's exactly how yeah. my mom was like, um, oh, this we go to a restaurant. Something's good. She's like, oh, let me try it at home. And yeah. And just then put they, it like, oh, And it's better. <laughs> like, I think it had this green stuff. Was it scallions? I'm not sure. Like, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's use this. And like, this is a thousand times better than that. So this is actually a lot of pork. I don't think I need this much. Um, I'm just going to finish cutting this one. Yeah. yeah. And you're just thinly slicing it. It's a really forgiving recipe too, as far as like what you're putting. It's just you're putting together a pizza, basically. If you want to keep <laughs> referring to that analogy. Okay. Then I'll put this in here, and then just put some salt and pepper on it. Salt, pepper, a little bit of oil, maybe. Kind of oil, some oil. Um, I'm using vegetable oil, or you can put olive oil in it. I'm gonna use vegetable oil to cook, so it doesn't get doesn't hinder the flavor, mm-hmm. and it's a good heat a heating temp. Okay. Yeah, we have sesame mm-hmm. oil, canola, Can olive oil. I wrap this up and I just threw away the Ziploc that I had it in. <laughs> So have you been traveling much? Okay. Have you been traveling much? I have. Just a little bit. For work or for fun? Oh, hey. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's been for work. So I was in Mexico for a little bit, and then I was in India for a little bit. For work? Yeah. We were out there meeting with a, a client. It was interesting. India is a very interesting place. I mean, you, I've never been. I've, the only time I've been overseas is to Vietnam. Yeah, so we, Salt. Yeah, I'm sure Vietnam is probably a cooler place than India. <laughs> it's Was just, it good food? I so. Just like a teaspoon. There's just so much traffic. Like we went to go out to dinner one time, and it literally took us an hour and a half to go half a mile down the road. Well, it took us like 45 minutes to go down half a mile down the road, and we said, you know what, let's just go back to the hotel. And the whole trip took us like an hour and a half. We're like, all right, this is we're good. An hour and a half to get around? To literally travel half a mile. It's just just so many people. There's just so many people. And they all have cars and they walk and they, it's just, it's crazy. Like if you feel insignificant here, just go over there. You just, it's. I think a lot of like underdeveloped worlds are like that. Like Vietnam's Mm -hmm. the same way where it's just like so much people. Like there's millions of people in like one little like square yeah. mile i feel like yeah you're like how where do you where, how what? where do you say <laughs> like where'd you come from <laughs> but yeah I, I think we take for granted a lot here in the states where we have so much room yeah even and yeah, everyone's even in the like city like people in the city have room comparatively. yeah comparatively yeah. yes you get a lot of uh space here and it's always I funny hearing it's people like in the city that are like, oh, you must be nice having so much space and like down south or in a house. Like, yeah, it's 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 also a lot more work. <laughs> yeah, more space, a lot more work, more yeah. stuff, cleaning. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. it's it's always funny when people here say like, oh, we need more space. Like, yeah, but 
4,500 square foot home. What do you need more space for? <laughs> like, oh no, like it's, it's yeah. I hear that a lot. Um, Alexa, um, what else we got prepped? Uh, the meat's prepped. So I know wash some lettuce because you eat this with lettuce, and then I've already done the cabbage, and I put some scallions. I'm gonna take this and put it over here. Let me uh, stop recording this. My clapper mimic. So I can sync all the video up. How does that, what do you mean? So when you put in the production, it'll see those two spikes in noise. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, those are so close that it must oh. be the same point in time. Yeah. That's like when you so see like movie you... directors who clap, like that clapper, that's how they always sync up to the camera with the audio. The... I gotcha. Because there's always, the audio is always recorded on different. Uh... Sorry, back on. Yep, we're good. Okay. okay. Um... Oh, Alexa, set timer, 25 minutes. 25 okay. minutes. So I know this is taking a little while, but usually that you can prep this in like 10 to 15 minutes. You're just making the batter, prepping your meat, and then I'm going to cut some scallions to put into the batter. I'm just going to use this since we already know that's small. Let me get you Oh, oh falling. Oh, this will work. That'll work. My <laughs> so we're going to probably just, probably three. I don't know. My, uh, my dad bought this a whole lot. knife kit because he wanted the f milk frother. I'm like, why don't you just buy a milk frother? <laughs> Like he Wait, he bought on. a whole knife? Yeah, it's like this, I don't, I don't. They're there somewhere. I'm like, I don't even know if they're good. But how does, how do you get a milk frother with knives? I don't know. It's like one of those kitchen set things. I'm like, why, why, why don't you just buy the milk frother online? Like, it's, there's this thing called Amazon. I know you have it. <laughs> and it's like probably five dollars. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The... These aren't bad. These are good. Okay. So you just thinly slice these. Um, we're gonna put it into our batter for some color and flavor. It's so weird that that, I believe, don't, I, I'm not 100% sure, but that is basically just an onion, which is why it's called green onions or scallion. Is it just an onion that comes out of? They just take it out early. Cause I think this, cause if you let them grow long enough, this will start going into a bulb. To a bulb? Yeah. So it's almost like they were gonna be onions, but they're like, eh, we don't wanna wait. <laughs> <laughs> and they come out of these. Like, yeah. if you leave it long enough, you get green onion little yeah. sprouts. So you can literally plant that, yeah. get green onions, and you can cut it, put the... And they also, they're pro they're good in the cold weather. It's the winter time. They're actually... That's right, yeah. Yeah. The cilantro, too, I think. I think it's in the winter. My mom, I think, plants it in the winter. Because we use it in so many Vietnamese dishes. Like, mm -hmm. the core of Vietnamese dishes is, like, cilantro and green onion. Do you guys use cilantro at all? The bigger, is it culantro is like a bigger yeah, leaf? it's a bigger, longer leaf. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think we probably know the difference. <laughs> if you held it, you'd be like, yeah. well, that you was one of those things like. But if you just get it from the store and it's culantro or cilantro, you're like, oh, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. That probably was one of those things as a kid. Like I was like, what's the difference? And I was like, oh, it's actually a pretty big difference, like flavor-wise. So I think I put in like, I don't know, half a cup of cilantro. Not cilantro. Yeah, three, Green onions, three scallions. sprigs, whatever it was. Three sprigs. And I think I put my whisk in here already. Let me rinse this off real quick. If you need another one, there's one over there. Because you want to keep stirring the batter as when you're using it. Like you want to get, because the flour will sink. The water will rise and the batter will sink. So just get that in there. Um, I think we're ready to assemble. On the heat? On the heat. All right. Let me uh, turn this off and move the cameras. Woo! What? Move the camera. Hi, and we're back. <laughs> um, just, you know, whatever. Normal serving size. So I'm heating up the pan. So now that we have everything prepped, we're just going to assemble. Uh, put about a teaspoon of oil in the pan. Get it hot. Kind of swirl that around a little. And then put a few pieces of pork, about an ounce, if, however much you want. Um, some scallions, no, that's shallots. Ah. Same, thing. same, same. Well, if you're saying that the onion, green onion comes from an onion, it is the same. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And so we're just gonna get those going. And it's gonna steam, so you don't have to cook it all the way through. Just put it in for like probably like 30 seconds, get it some color on it. 
And I put about four pieces of shrimp. Four halves of shrimp. I'm going to turn that heat down. Wow, they got hot quick. <laughs> gas. That thing yeah, is, that gas. I forget how many BTUs that thing pumps out. That's nice. Yeah, once you cook with gas, it's really difficult to, mm -hmm. to go back to, to anything else. Yeah, I, I live in an apartment, so of course they don't have gas. Electric. Electric, yeah. The worst is like the one with the coils. You know what I'm talking about? The like the old school like coil electric one. Oh, those yeah, those are terrible. I have a flat surface. That's nice. I don't think they make apartments with that coil anymore. That's like a really old school. <laughs> and so That's... I'm gonna do one ladle. One ladle is probably about a cup. This is a pretty big pan. So you need like a non-stick, obviously. Well, maybe it's not obvious. And then you just swirl it around. And it gets that nice sizzle in there. And, and like I said earlier, like instead of using bean sprouts, I'm using cabbage. And I'm gonna sprinkle some on top. This really is like a pizza. Like now I'm thinking about it, like that pizza analogy is really like sticking in here. <laughs> a Vietnamese pizza. I'm gonna pull this out. This is like a whole scallion that didn't get cut through. I'm gonna pull <laughs> that out. I'm surprised you added the stuff to it, considering the first one is always. Oh, huh, oh well. Always. I think I think the batter looks good actually. I might have got the first one right. Oh. And then you cover it, and you're gonna let this sit for. It's on now, like a medium, medium high heat, um, and let it sit for like two minutes, two and a half minutes. And then we're going to add a little bit of oil to the edges to get it extra crispy. And then we're going to eat it as a different way than normal. So this is like a traditional Vietnamese bun sale is just you eat the crepe with some lettuce and like different herbs. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to roll it in a spring roll. So like this is like my boyfriend does it this way, which is so weird. My mom, like no one does that. <laughs> But my boyfriend does and like it actually makes it really easy to eat. It puts it in like a spring roll like so it doesn't like get everywhere. Uh -huh. Kind of like a burrito. Spring <laughs> I was when I was thinking of what to make, I was thinking about spring rolls because it's so easy. Um, and people typically don't know how to like make it at home, I guess. I guess when you go to restaurants, you can get it, but it's like the simplest thing. Yeah, see, see, I would have thought it's not. Oh, like, oh you just, difficult. you literally just boil shrimp. Boil, we can actually make it with the stuff we have here. We just boil it and get some noodles, um, some vermicelli noodles. It's like the white rice noodles that are really thin. And you just assemble. And with the same sauce, too. For spring rolls? Mm -hmm. Not egg rolls, spring rolls. So spring rolls are not fried. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, egg rolls are the same thing. It's a typically the same thing, but it's fried. The, it's, it's, yeah, anyways. Um, so that was, I don't know, that looks about right. Oh, good, good timing there. Let's, if I feel, like you kind of just hear it. Um, and then put a little bit more oil on the edges. I'm not used to using a spoon for this. I usually just pour it in with a little spout. And you put it on the edges and it gets a little bit more crispy, just a little bit, like probably a tablespoon. And that nonstick really helps. So just like help yeah. That. No, that's fine. This is fine. And you let it sit for another like minute. Yeah, the first one came out good. And then you flip it in half. And you make a calzone out of the pizza. <laughs> hey, I got this some ketchup there. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Do you have a spatula? Uh, there should be one in there. Oh, right here. Okay, I see. Bunch in there. Yeah. There's oh, one over here too. I had it behind the whiskey. Oh, this is a really. There's one behind the whiskey too. What's... If you this want. This is a the... nice offset one. Like this is interesting. Is that gonna scratch your pan? I don't know. If you need a rubber one or a silicone one, there's one over here yeah, behind the whiskey. A silicone one. I think this is kind of big. Where? Behind the whiskey. Oh, this? Yeah. This is... Small? This is like for baking. It's a spatula. Like, what do you think? 
like this is for it baking. is made by like baker's company or something <laughs> like that okay that looks about right i'm gonna look underneath it and it's a nice crispiness to it that's good what would you say if someone adding ketchup to that without even trying it i would cringe so hard like that it's really cringe i i probably could have left a little longer it's not like it's Beautiful. not gonna. It might focus. It might not. I don't know. Yeah. Um, that's like uh. That look. Is yeah, that looks good. Is camera still on over here? Yeah, that was good. Okay, so we're gonna put that there. I'll make. One. And so this is a kind of just like ongoing thing. You just kind of sit and keep making them for people. Put another tablespoon of oil. Teaspoon. Sorry, teaspoon. Just add oil. You just add oil. Enough to get. That sizzle. Put a little bit of meat in here. It's like if you ever want to piss off a chef or uh, like someone who works for a living, just immediately add salt and pepper to whatever it is they give you. <laughs> you will watch them die inside. They're like, <laughs> it was seasoned so perfectly. <laughs> I remember I knew somebody one time who made pasta, and so we just immediately grabbed the Parmesan cheese to add it, and she flipped her shit like legitimately. Like, yeah, oh, I so before you add anything, when someone's cooking for you, you should always should taste it, it yeah. try it, see how like I know everyone has a different. But it palette. could be really salty, and if you added salt to it, now all yeah. of a sudden it's like. And you ruin just... that person's dish. Yeah. I forgot where I was that they so had salt and pepper on the table. This on, it's a little hot. I'm gonna leave it on medium. Depending on how your stove is. What was that? Oh, I was. I forgot where it was. It was like a really nice restaurant, but they had salt and pepper on the table. I was like, this is just really weird. Because it was almost, it wasn't like fine dining, but it was, the food is really, really good. Like it was perfectly seasoned and uh -huh. they had a lot of stuff and there's like, why they need to get rid of that and just. Re I've never noticed that. Like, so restaurants that have like a better palate for their food wouldn't put salt and pepper on their table. I never noticed that. Yeah. Cause it's supposed to be. I'm kind of seasoned. thinking about it now. Like, yeah. Like if I go to Haven or something, they don't have salt and yep. pepper out, you know. That's, that's the only reason I know is because like, yeah, it's supposed to be perfectly seasoned. Like they told me that. Cause I asked them one time, I was like, well, where's. How come there's no salt and pepper? Like, it's supposed to be good. When it comes yeah. out, it should be good to eat. Yeah. Shouldn't need anything else. I just sprinkle some of this on. Does the camera see like this beauty inside? <laughs> so this part of it, like assembling and making it, I'll put the lid on it. I've done since I was like in high school, and like probably really sucked at it in high school. Probably ruined, <laughs> and. It's like a crepe, so the batter is fine, and if it doesn't matter like the texture, you just eat it. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. So like I would make it after school, and just like my mom would probably like think it was atrocious, but I just like, ate it anyway. I don't care. I just ate it anyways because it was food. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> <laughs> like it looks like shit, but like I'm like oh, whatever, it tastes good. Yeah, uh, what's well, like uh, like when you grow up eating like easy mac, like oh this is mac and cheese, and you have real mac yeah. and cheese, like it is what just was it that? is just like yeah. <laughs> You were feeding me it? Like, you ever drink like Sunny D and stuff as a kid? Oh my god, yes. Even and as a kid, you're like, this isn't that good, but I'm going to drink it because yeah, it's like sugar. it's sugar. And you're like, you grew up like, I can't believe you let me drink that. Like that is literal, it's literal. I did grow like, up with Sunny D acid. and mac and cheese like, yeah, and all that. Yeah. Lost like part of my stomach lining drinking Sunny D and <laughs> eating all that other nonsense stuff. Because you just come home from school and it's easy. Yeah. But I come over to school and have this batter in my fridge and just, you know, put it together. Oh, well, my mom's at work and she probably thinks like I'm crazy for eating it. <laughs> do you have like go-to stuff in your house now? Like, like what do you mean? Um, like that I'm always having in my fridge? Yeah, like for example, like say you would always have like that batter. Just because mm. you just go through it like every two, three days, let's say. Or like you always have, I'm assuming you always have eggs. Like what's your go-to I dish? always have eggs. I always have like flour and different things in my cabinet if I wanted to whisk together some kind of batter. Mm-hmm. Cause, uh, and then, yeah, I always have like munchangs, these things. Mm -hmm. These are the rice paper wraps. Oh. I always have this in my cabinet. Like, it's more of like stuff in your cabinet <laughs> so you know than funny. fridge. It's, so I saw that over there and I was like, what was in this case? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the case like, for it. But it's like it's it terrible looks, packaging. It looks like the, the, the paper they put underneath the like cakes and stuff. Or like, like if you were to have like oh, little, like little like dolly, yeah, yeah I the was little, like, what was in here? Is that what it's called? <laughs> it's like a dolly. I had something like that. Yeah, a little fancy, mm -hmm. fancy stuff. 
So I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let this one sit a little longer. Cause I think that one could have been a little crispier. So I'm gonna let this sit for like another minute. By the way, I appreciate the fact that my house doesn't smell like curry right now. <laughs> <laughs> or that you haven't lit they anything on fire. They do have like Vietnamese dishes that are curry and but this is, this still only has turmeric in it. It's, it's funny. Different so yellow. The the f- um, the first. I'm not doing boom. this. Are we, are we I don't know. Time? I'm like cleaning. Like this <laughs> is what you do it. when you when you're cooking. You just like yeah, kind of like, clean, clean as you go, cooking, and I'm yeah, like so things so are just out. I'm like okay, no, this, is, um, this is gonna be. Yeah. So like the first quote unquote these videos that I made, I didn't r- r- put out because it was so bad, and it was we didn't know what we were doing. But Rishi came over and he made uh, lamb, but he cooked it with bear bear seasoning, which what, which is. I, I don't even know. I think it's Ethiopian or it's whatever it was. My house literally smelled like that for two months. And this is like during the winter. So I had the windows <laughs> open, like airing it out. I was like, you're never cooking in my house again. <laughs> and he made this curry stuff, this last one in my <laughs> this Oh, that still, the uh, shrimp curry? Of, of, of curry, yeah. It's so funny. I'm like, you're not allowed I mean, to cook here. You have a lot of things to talk about when girls come over. The smell, <laughs> like, the the camera kinda, setup, the studio. It kind of smells like curry, dog, and like two guys living here. Oh, just, where like, is Scott's dog? He, he was uh, the, the dog caretaker lady person. Oh, who? Because I would take care of him, but I get home, I'm never home. So like, mm-hmm. he'd be here for like yeah, 14, because you're 16 in hours by himself. St. Pete, yeah. then the gym, then... So this is and he's just... old, so like he needs to go outside and stuff. He'd be like, "Oh Jesus, I can't hold it." <laughs> Kate came over yesterday and had her pup Lucy with her. That's the first time I met Lucy. She's so cute. So, have you met no, Lucy? I she is the cutest dog. So I don't know what breed she is. I think she's a mix, but she's very lean, very muscular, mm-hmm. um, very That's active. Fitting. What? It's fitting for their mm-hmm. owners. For them, yeah. yeah. Um, so she's smart. It was the funniest thing. So she was thirsty. So she's drinking out of my toilet and Kate was like, stop, whatever. And she's like, she's like, okay, whatever. I stop. She listens. And then she sees me. I have a water dispenser. You know, the, oh shit, I should take this out. <laughs> oh, it's burnt now. Oh, it's actually perfect. That's super crispy. Let me get this plate. And so the dog's thirsty and we don't really, really think about it. Um, and she sees me, I have that water dispenser, you know, the Nestle five gallon water dispenser thing. Mm-hmm. And um, I can make two, that'd be good. And I dispense water out of it. And she sees me drinking it and like literally a minute later, she's at the nozzle of the water dispenser <laughs> trying to get water out. And I'm like, how smart are you? You saw that I got water that's from crazy. it. And she knows that's where water comes from. That's crazy. That's, That's like, the cutest uh, thing. Jake was here, and he Jake is a trash monster, like <laughs> legit. And he will eat anything and everything. He was perfectly fine with it. But uh, so I put the trash in the laundry room, and I closed the door. And I guess either it didn't close very well, or he figured out how to open it. And I came back. It was just he's just sitting there, just trash everywhere. He's like, yeah, yeah, I figured I it out. <laughs> it's like you. Saw but does he have like um like guilt from it? Like does he see like oh um, I shouldn't have done that? Oh. A little bit, but he's like old. So he's like, what are you gonna do? Like the ramekins right there. Let's do this off to you. He's like, what are you going to do about it? He's like, I'm an old dog. <laughs> How long has Scott had Jake? Yeah. I'm not sure. At least, I mean, at least two or three years? Uh, okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> so this is fish sauce that you dip it in, and a lot of Vietnamese dishes you'll use this. It's fish, like a probably one part fish sauce to three parts water. Two, and then one part lime juice. This is the fish sauce looks really light. Yeah, so it's the it's a fish sauce for dipping because fish sauce is very yeah, it's very, very salty. So it's dilute it with water, um, lime juice, garlic, and peppers. So a little bit of a spice to it, just a little bit. Um, a bowl. So so this is how you eat it like normally. This is right here. You just. Alexa. Break a piece, Stop. then you put some lettuce on it, and you dip it and eat it. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're gonna put in, like, take it a step farther and put in these bun chanks. And if you were gonna think this is like crazy, like any what? Vietnamese person is gonna be like, what? Like, well, they have to watch the video and get to it and go, ah! Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let me get one more plate to wrap it. 
you like my sore. eclectic mix of <laughs> yeah <laughs> random plates no we do too <laughs> joey's mom would bring like she has a lot of like kitchen stuff mm -hmm. and uh when she comes in town she would just bring us like oh here i got some plates and some more towels and some more sheets I'm like <laughs> we live in an apartment yay more stuff but no it, it actually works out because whenever we're like have guests over we need the like 10 plates or whatever mm -hmm. you know my mom gets mad at me because they're all like mismatched I'm like, mom it's like the <laughs> thing to do like yeah it's eclectic a uh, big bowl so i can put water in yeah because you're going to put like warm water. So this is like all you do is dip it in warm water and it's ready to go. This big? Oh, yeah. That's, that's plenty big. Warm water? Yep. I'm like looking at this. I want to wash it as I go. Like I'm such a like I'm, in the, when I'm cooking, I just want to like yeah. clean as I go. I guess you don't do that for a show. <laughs> it's fine. And we didn't even touch on this yet. Has this been in the screenshot? Like, the... even though it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. Oh well. So Joey and I have been on this whiskey kick probably for the last year. He wasn't a big drinker before I met him. Before he met me. But I, I liked, you know, trying different whiskeys and things like that. And we just kind of dived into it. And we go to Haven and they have like a whiskey selection of like a hundred. Probably more than probably more than a hundred. They have a really great selection. Yeah. Um, that's perfect. And so we would go there during happy well, they had the best happy hour from five to seven every day. Except for Sunday, they could have closed on Sunday. As a little plug for Haven. It's one of our favorite restaurants here. It so. really is. It's, it's people talk about good. Burns. Haven is yeah. I Haven's Haven. where it's at, um, and they're really chill and laid back. Um, mm -hmm. I love sitting at the bar there. I and wonder if, uh, I wonder if Chad is still the uh, who? He was the executive chef. Oh. It's a really cool guy. Um, so we would go there and just like, hey, you know, recommend some stuff, and they'll bring out you know two or three different things, and we would taste it, and then. They also have their own barrel that they do. This is the George Dickel Haven Barrel. So they have a team of people that go to these distilleries and pick out barrels, and they bottle it themselves, and they put their name on it. Mm -hmm. And they sell it for maybe a dollar more a shot or something like that. Yeah, it's yeah. not much more. And then, you, so you get drunk, and they have that Fakirian like two blocks down with, yeah. their, with a store that sells it. And so you're like, let's go buy this bottle. I love this bottle. Let's go buy it. So if you've <laughs> like, gotten in a little bit of trouble there, like... We probably all my bags I brought them in are from mm -hmm. the from the Burns store. That's yep. <laughs> so Epicurean saying, is where the um, we didn't use any meat. Yeah, no meat on this. That's so where all I'm the uh, cut this. like hockey players and stuff stay when they come into town. Oh really? Yeah. It's it's a expensive Shh, don't hotel. Tell anybody. It's an expensive. <laughs> 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 they try to keep that stuff from the DL, but <laughs> it's, it's funny if, when you see if like y'all looking for Hawk some fans. fun nights, just like hang out at Epicurean. Uh, I've had some fun nights there. It's a great bar upstairs, and it's chill. Like, if you're gonna go on Howard, go to Epicurean. Like, like screw all the, the crazy college bars. Like, I think I'm, we're like a little bit over that scene, with our age. Well, that, that yeah. So I just dipped it in here. I, I kind of didn't recap what I was saying. I dipped it in the warm water, and it's so it comes like this. It's like a. Firmer. It looks like a piece of plastic when it's, you put it in yeah, water. Yeah, it looks like a piece of plastic. Like, and then you put it in, and then it comes, it's pliable, and then you just put some lettuce. And then I put like a third of the crepe in and you roll it and that's it. And then you put it on a plate to serve. So you probably want to try it both ways. I'll make you a little bite with, ooh, almost cut myself. <laughs> oh, blood fun. everywhere. Blood! <laughs> so you can probably wrap this, so you can eat it two ways. If you want to do with the car with more carbs or less carbs, yeah. Well, makes sense. How do you want to do? And then here's some dip. Let's try it without the sauce first. I'm full <laughs> blood. It doesn't have a lot of crunch to it because like you want to eat like once you take it off the pan, you're gonna like dive in kind of thing. So I'll wrap another one. 
Oh, you're good to go. Put that on here. They're so good. So we're talking about this whiskey. We haven't even opened it. Let's open it. One of the funny things is like when I make the videos and I'm trying something like, oh, we can just hear you chewing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that is really good. Oh, man. Will my mom be proud? I don't know. She's going to watch this. Like, why are you she talking? Just, she she's going like, to watch it. And she's like, why are you talking about me so much? Sorry, mom. <laughs> because you taught me how to do this. <laughs> I'm just trying to live up to your expectations. So what, do you like it with, isn't it a great vehicle just to put it in there and like mm -hmm. it's so much easier. It's not like the hassle. It like, is easier, but I think yeah. I like it with the lettuce, just the lettuce. Just the lettuce? It gives, because this has a flavor easy. to it, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it's, um, it's a carb, so it'll dilute the flavor a little. Yeah. Like all carbs, mm -hmm. if you add carbs to it, it'll dilute the flavor. Yeah. So we have four here. Are we going to try all four? Let's do it. I'm game. Do we got time on the camera? <laughs> uh, okay. And cut. Cut, here. cut. And cut. <laughs> so, anything like a pizza? <laughs> I mean, I get the concept of why they would say mm -hmm. it's a Vietnamese pizza, but nothing like the taste. It's a pie. So you fold in half. It almost like. Maybe it's the color that's effing with my mind, but it's a really vibrant color. It's a beautiful. Yeah, like I feel like I'm eating an omelet. Like there's like a slight, <laughs> almost omelet texture flavor. I don't know. That's why I think it's the color that's messing with my head. That's like, oh, it's eggs. So this is a bullet mm -hmm. single barrel. Has never had that before. Have you ever bullet before? Oh, like yeah. bullets, like used to drink yeah, bullets. very generic. But, um, so this one is 122 proof. Very, 61, yeah, 61.7. Yeah, so very hit you in the face, wake you up. That's good though. It's smooth. So, I need more glasses. Where are my glasses? Oh. we can share if we're just going to be doing a little tastings here. I'm not, I'm driving obviously, so. That's good. Yes, yeah, see, I, I... You just called me a Kermit I'm driving. I just took a sip. Like a very tiny sip. <laughs> very tiny sip. I, uh... Oh, it is very smooth. Alexa. I haven't had this one in a while. Alexa, stop. Alexa wants to join the party. No, No, see, I used to drink so much Bullet that I actually got tired of drinking Bullet, but this is very different from It's the very different. Bullet. The price point is different, too. This one, I think a regular Bullet you can probably find for $25, $30. Mm -hmm. This is like 60 So the price point is different. So let's... I'm going to line them up by price point. Let's see. This is probably the cheapest one we have. It's about it's about forty dollars, but I love this one because I went to this distillery in Chattanooga and I saw them make it. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. It's hard to find on the shelf though. I got this bottle in Savannah. My boyfriend's from Savannah, and I found I, I, I yeah Savannah oh, Georgia. Cool. Uh, we met in Atlanta when I was up there for my fourteen month stint. So this is a nice one too. They also make a single bro, but this is not the single bro. This is a mix. You ever been to the- Ooh, that the, is like the after of that, the bullet. Oh, it's like, it hits Yeah, you. yeah, like I'm feeling the little burn mm -hmm, now. The burn, the after burn. You ever been to the Jack Daniels distillery? I haven't, where is that? It's in Tennessee, it's a dry county. It's actually a really cool spot. I was there when I was 15, so it was all new to me, but it was still a really cool, just like the vibe and the people and everything. Mm -hmm. It's a dry county though. It's very different from the bullet. It, yeah, it would be. It's uh, 113 proof. It's sweeter. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of sweetness to it. You're gonna finish all these. You're gonna oh, line them up. You need to put less in these glasses. <laughs> I, I barely drink anymore. <laughs> like it's just the. Uh, like beer, like I can't handle beer anymore. I'm just like I heard that in the last like, video, you were saying that you don't carry beer. Bubble guts and shit. I, I've I'm never sure, been but. a beer a beer person. Like I've tried so many different kinds. Everyone's always like trying to get me to mm -hmm. taste this. You might like it. Taste this. I mean, no, I don't like beer. Do you ever have sours and stuff? I've had sours, it's and I can really I can drink a sour. Like I can drink half a cup of a sour, mm -hmm. like like half a pint. 
but I don't gravitate towards it. Like, so why drink something you don't That's true. want? Yeah. So I've been drinking those instead. Like when you can't just go take around whiskey. Like when people are drinking beer, you know, like you're gonna get fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Excuse my cursing. No, it's fine. <laughs> this is an adult show. <laughs> but like that's that was probably all through my early twenties. I don't like beer and people were drinking beer and I was like, I'm going to have a whiskey and I would get too fucked up before everyone else did. Especially your size. you did. <laughs> <laughs> So like I could only drink one or two glasses and then people were having like five beers. And so I, now that they have it so readily available, now the um, seltzer waters that mm -hmm. are spiked. Those things are fantastic. They're so, and it's so good for the beach. Like oh, I love having yeah. those at the beach. It's can, it's water, it's yeah. alcoholic. You're like, let's do it. Funny story, I was at the beach at Pasta Grill one, um, with uh, my boyfriend and his sister, and we took those out there. And I never knew Pasta Grill Beach was a dry beach. Pretty much every beach yeah, is Yeah, every dry beach. beach. Is, and I never, I mean, seven years, this is like, like up to like eight years living in Florida. I never knew that going to the beach every summer, like year round actually. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was just drinking those seltzer waters, <clears throat> and the cops come up, and they're like, um, you know this is a dry beach. Like you can't have that out here. And I'm like, no, I actually didn't know that. But they well, I'll, I'll okay, drink cool. it right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so she had gin and tonic, and so we we poured out the gin and tonic, mm -hmm. and I had a seltzer water in my hand, the spike seltzer water, and he was like, what is that? And I'm like, seltzer water. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't well, trying to. Line, I wasn't trying to be a dick or anything. I was just like. It's seltzer water. I don't know how to explain. Like it's seltzer water. Yet yeah, um, it is sparks though. <laughs> Long story short, cop got drunk with you guys. <laughs> Drove around the cop car. But I, I poured it out, and they laughed or whatever. It wasn't a big deal. I didn't get a ticket or anything like that. They just said pour it out, and we poured it out. I've seen the trick it. is you get like a McDonald's cup, and you put your beer or whatever inside, and then you put the lid oh, the straw into the because those cups are so yeah, big. So, yeah, it's like a. But you just put it in a yeti. Like they don't uh, really. If you're not being like, not being we dead. weren't being like drunk wow, or anything. Yeah. Or, it was three of us at the beach. Um, but yeah, I learned that you can't drink on the beach. I still bring alcohol out there though, you know. Allegedly. On <laughs> Allegedly. beaches or that are <laughs> not dry. <laughs> I bring it out, I don't drink it. <laughs> it's just for, uh, for So this uh, is the George Dickel. This is the Burns labeled one that one drunken night at Haven we ended up buying. This is a really good one. Yeah. This is a very easy, like everyone loves this one. When we like bring it out to drink, this is like the easiest to drink. It's got, um, I'm so bad at describing things. It has that, um, it's not peat, but it's got like a, a different flavor profile than, like it's not smoky. It's, I'm trying to figure out what it is. It's, it's not smoky. This one's smoky. This mm -hmm. one's probably smokier. And we have one at the house that's like super smoky. The um, Japanese whiskeys, mm -hmm. those are like drinking smoke There's a liquid. There's a distillery in Park City, Utah. I think it's the only one in the county or something like that or city. And they have one that's called Campfire. Oh. Literally like you're drinking smoke. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong, but it's just not if That's me. what you want. Like yeah. that's, you know, it's whiskeys have <laughs> such a, like a variety of uh. like four tastes to it. But yeah, this is a super easy, smooth one to drink. It's. What's the proof on this? It's 51 proof. So 51 alcohol content, 103 proof. Yeah. So this is the lowest of these three. And then Whittle Jane is going to be your lowest. This is 45. It looks like moonshine. Some it's, sort of like. This is a good one. This is one like top 10, like good in that price point. This is like a $9 price point one. Um, this is actually the cheapest. And mm. it's like one of my favorite really? go-tos. Yeah. It's so they had a, a whiskey tasting something in St. Pete. Like, oh, why don't you come? Like, because I'm gonna end up drinking whiskey and have to drive back, back to, to Tampa after yeah. work. Are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> well, good thing like, we're your home. This is nothing good. This is like an expensive ass Uber yeah. ride. I have to Uber to work, Uber home. So that's what I, I kind of want to. Maybe you can come record this. Um, I want to start doing whiskey tastings at my place. We have like a good collection, and we're we're just building on it. Mm -hmm. um, and we can do a little. Like this is a preview of my show, <laughs> whiskey. Yeah, just let me know. I, this yeah. uh, it's funny because uh, um, this is not like a cooking show. It's just like a food channel. Yeah. And I, I'll tell you in a second how it kind of 
it's definitely smoother, like much waterier. Not waterier, yeah, but like. But less, yeah. like, hit you because um, it's a 90 proof. And we're talking like things above 90 proof mm -hmm. when most alcohols are 80 proof. Yeah. But yeah, that's what whiskey does. Whiskey. You know how whiskey got started, right? Like here in the US? Tell me the story. So. Are you, do you want more food? Yeah, I'm not going to piece. That's delicious. Here. I need to get a picture of that though, so I'm going to wait. Um, <laughs> For the uh, cover of the video? <laughs> yeah. I got to get you hold it. Oh, or put it on Instagram too? Yeah. I, gotta go oh, I need to, I need to like, let's put it on my story real quick. Um, no, so the, I'm the a drink bit of, of a choice. Media whore. Your phone should be. Uh, yeah, it was right here. I saw it like two seconds ago. Oh, right here. Uh, no, so the drink of choice here in the US used to be rum. And mm -hmm. then I forgot what it was, but there was the the blockade. And so we couldn't get sugarcane from Cuba. I'm like, fuck it, we'll start using corn. And that's <laughs> that's how the whiskey started in the US. Because we, we didn't have sugarcane here. Like we did, but it wasn't enough to, like, to fulfill what, the. Is this like in the 1800s yeah, or? Yeah, something like yeah. that. Late seventeen something or something like that. I went to an Old Forester tasting. I'm not a huge fan of Old Forester, but after the tasting, we went to Old Forester tasting, and they are like the first distillery after the Prohibition. Mm. Well, so, they're probably still running during Prohibition. Yeah, like, they oh, were. No, yeah, we're making that, I think that's what they said. In the, yeah, <laughs> but they make um, their. I think their single barrel is like 125 proof. Oh my goodness, I took a sip of it and I wanted to die. <laughs> it was like burning my mouth a lot for like the next 15 minutes. It was drinking straight um, diesel. Like, yeah, straight diesel, basically. So, well, thank you for coming over. This is, Thanks for this having me. This is really me. good. You're going to have to do another one. <laughs> <laughs> I've ha I had so many ideas for like what I wanted this to is, cook. This is how I get fed for free. <laughs> like, what are you like? I'll bring up okay, good and just come on over. <laughs> no, I have like six more uh, things to cook. Yeah, so. no, seriously. Thanks for coming over and thanks for recording. having me. So, until um, next I hope, time. I hope y'all know the ingredients for this, like the ratios. Yeah. I think I kind of yeah, same, just threw same. some things together. Same thing. Yeah. Sounds <laughs> good. Cool. Signing yeah. out.